Here's how I transform this photo from this to this in Photoshop. Because of the lighting coming down from this direction, it created a lot of shadows under here, so we're gonna raise the shadows. I'm also gonna lower the contrast a little bit just to get more of those shadows out of the photo. Next, I'm gonna use the patch tool and start removing any blemishes. Go ahead and clean up her lipstick right here. This tool right here that I'm using is the clone stamp tool, all right? I like to use this when I'm going over lines like this. Or let's say if I was to remove some of these strands of hair. I'm gonna fix up her hair right here by making a selection over it and then generative fill. Right click, generative fill. When you're doing generative fill, it may give you a different selection or generation each time you use it. So find one that looks good and stay consistent with it throughout every photo that you edit from that session. Next, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go up here to the actions. I'm gonna click on this drop down, click frequency separation and click play. And as you can see on the right side, it created all kinds of different groups and layers. So in the frequency separation group, I'm gonna go down the colors layer and I'm gonna start smoothing her skin. This is gonna smooth out any blemishes that we left behind, fix any discoloration and really just make the photo look more polished and smooth. If you use this method, you can go over the photo and remove any wrinkles and it also works on the backdrop. You can see how much more smoother her skin looks now. I'm just gonna go through and clean up anything that I might have left behind. Here's what this shot is looking like before and after. After, if you guys enjoyed this transformation, go ahead and leave me a like, follow, and share. And if you have any ideas or requests at all about what you would like me to cover in a video regarding photography, editing, business, whatever it is, go ahead and let me know in the comment section. I'll see y'all in the next video.